Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday. Grant and I got back from our little anniversary trip on Tuesday, so this week has felt a little off, um, but that's okay. We had such a great trip. Um, Jumping Goat Ranch was so beautiful. Fredericksburg was so beautiful. We had such a great time and such a good, short, sweet little trip. Um, but now we're back in the swing of things and let me sit down. And um, Grant and I actually have decided that we are starting, okay, well, he is doing 75 hard. I am not doing 75 hard, but I am partaking where I can. So basically, if you don't know anything about 75 hard, I would suggest Googling it and don't listen to the people on TikTok and Instagram. I see so many people that are like, I'm doing 75 hard, but for 60 days and I'm drinking and I'm eating sweets and I'm doing this and I'm doing it. So it's really not 75 hard. <laughs> It'll be like 50 easy. Like anyway, 75 hard in a nutshell um, is like a physical and mental challenge that lasts for 75 days. And basically you have to choose some sort of diet, it can be whatever you want, choose some sort of workout, it can be whatever you want, but you work out twice a day, one of them has to be inside and one of them has to be outside both for 45 minutes long um you have to re read 10 pages a day and um there are a bunch of other things like i said google it for the exact rules because grant is doing it and he's done it before he did it last year around this time and i just partake where i can because um like i said like i'm the one cooking and i'm the one whatever so um i I have just been feeling like not like my best self neither of us really just physically and mentally and um sometimes it's just good to have a little challenge and to just change things up a little bit so i'm really excited about it um like i said i am doing my own version of it i am not doing 75 hard however what i am doing is i am working out twice a day and i am I'm basically doing a similar, obviously, diet to what Grant is doing. He is like tracking his macros and protein and stuff, and I am just being more like conscious. I because I used to track, um, but then it just got to be too much, like just not great for the mental health to be tracking. And so I'm I'm not tracking, but I'm just being extra conscious and trying to drink more water and um, do all of participate where I can you know like last night I got home late so I wasn't able to read my 10 pages but that's okay um got up early worked out this morning and we'll go on a run later tonight but anyway and also I'm not doing it because I have a girls trip in September and that would be within the 75 days and like there's just definitely no way I could do it on that trip so I'm, I'm not even saying I'm doing 75 hard um but anyway so we are on this health health kick right now but you know grant and i are, are really pretty heavy like healthy people we work out every day normally um so anyway it's just a, a good challenge to change things up so that is what's going on in our world and what else was going on I, uh, today i need to go i need to go by abercrombie i wanted to film a little haul but i don't have enough time to like order it and ship it here so i'm gonna go pick it up at the store i've never been to the abercrombie store here so I th i'm sure it's in north park but anyway i need to do that um i just need to like get work done today um and oh last night um i saw miss harris goes to paris and it was so great and so cute um like like such a feel-good movie one of the best movies i've seen like next to top gun like granted totally different vibe miss harris goes to paris is not top gun <laughs> at all top gun was a fantastic like awards will be won miss harris goes to paris i don't know but it was very cute and i loved it so much so anyway that was cute um other updates oh i did want to share this again uh, I think I've shared it before, but it's just like, I've really been loving it. I wasn't required to post about this, but like they sent it to me and it's this Beekeepers Naturals. Um, 
I have a little um, digestive issues and this has really been an amazing. It's, it's a pre, pro, and postbiotic. I take two of these every day. Really been a game changer. Um, as well as the honey, y'all know I've been loving this. We're literally almost out. Um, it's so yum. And let's see, what makes this different than any other honey? Um, medicinal grade honey with antioxidants and potent ingredients from the hive that support your immune system and energy. Suggested use as a dietary supplement. Adults take one teaspoon each morning for maximum results. Take regularly. Yeah. So clean energy, immunity support, whole body balance. So I've been loving that on our, our health journey. That has been something that um, I've added in the routine recently. Okay, so we are headed to run our errands. I just looked up where the Abercrombie is and it's in the Galleria, which is, it's not far, but it's not, I've never been there before. I mean, I have, but it's kind of far. No, it's not that far. It's just not where I was expecting it to be. Um, anyway, okay, and, but they don't open till 10 and it's 9.30 right now. So I'm going to go to Home Goods, um, and then and kill some time in there before I go to Abercrombie. And hopefully I can time that perfectly and then be back home before lunchtime. Hey everyone, Home Goods was fine. There was not much there. Uh, but now we are at the Galleria. It was quite the trek to get here. It wasn't really a trek. It's just, um, like, I've never driven this way by myself before. And, like, someone almost rear-ended ended me. But, like, that's not my fault. Um, anyway, we're fine. We're here in the parking lot. About to go in um, and see what we can see. Okay, we made it back home in one piece. Um... It was just a little stressful because I had never been over there by myself before. I'd never driven over there, um, but it was really fun. There are just so many crazy drivers. Like, I, you just witness some crazy things. I got to be on my guard. Like, there's just so many people cutting you off. And I just, I witnessed this person literally, like there was traffic, like there's always traffic, but um, someone cut across literally four lanes of traffic, like with cars, like going 70 miles an hour. And I'm like, my jaw literally dropped while I was driving and someone almost rear-ended me and I'm like, okay, let's all pay attention here, but there's a lot going on. Um, if you could not rear-end me, that'd be great. But I was like, it wasn't even, I did not, I did not come to an abrupt stop. <laughs> like I had my foot on the brake for a while and they had to like swerve out of the way to avoid hitting me. And I'm like, bruh. Anyway, okay. Um, I need to do some things. I need to shower and then I'll show you the things that I got and maybe we'll do a little try on. Hello. Okay. We are showered and dressed for the day. I was just trying some things on and now I'm going to eat lunch and then I need to process all the things I got. Process is a retail term that we used to use to like you steam the clothes, hang them up, make sure the buttons are buttoned, etc. because tomorrow will be my filming day. So I'm going to do that. Um, today for lunch, I'm heating up leftover taco bake from last night's dinner. Um, so yeah, let me do that real quick. Okay, I just finished lunch and now I have like actually got to get some work done. Um, and it's hard to like do that and vlog it because like I get distracted with my phone. So I'm gonna plug in my phone. I'm gonna leave it over here and I'm gonna get some work done and then I'll check back in in a little bit. Hello, I'm back. Um, got a lot of work done and now I am like linking the things that I got today that I'm planning on filming this weekend. One of them being these shorts that I thought were so cute. I know they're kind of like, grandma grandpa um but i thought they were so cute and i thought oh these must be brand new i can't find them online because in the store they had like a million bajillion pairs i literally got two pairs to try um for sizes because i didn't want to try them on this is the size small by the way and i think they're perfect i think the medium would be way too large um but anyway this so i looked up the style number online because i just absolutely couldn't find them and they're out of stock 
This is why I just order everything. That way I know what's in stock and what's not as opposed to going in the store. Anyway, I don't know if I said that earlier, but since I didn't have enough time to like order stuff to have it in by tomorrow, I had to go to the store to get stuff, um, which is fine. But now I'm like, I don't want to share it if it's out of stock. <sighs> oh, well, but they're really cute and really comfy. Um, I thought this would be like a good like work from home short. I'm planning to film some like work from home outfits because a lot of people have been asking for that. And um, people have been asking for like elevated work from home that's like comfortable but still like I don't feel like a slob, um, which I get, I feel that. So anyway, these are these shorts. And then I'm trying to find one of the dresses that I got from Abercrombie that I thought was, oh, it's so new. It must not even be online, but watch it be sold out. So I'm gonna go look up that style number two. I'll try it on and show you. It's really cute and would be really cute for fall. Okay, so here's the dress. I know this isn't the an ideal mirror situation, but it is uh, like a midi but it does like doesn't go all the way to the floor. Um, hypothetically, I think I could have done an extra small, um, but I think it's so cute for fall. And then the back is like out kind of, but like I said, I can't find it online. So hopefully it's coming soon. I would think this is coming soon because I feel like this is fall. Like this did not already sell out. Hopefully, who knows? But anyway, this is from Abercrombie. I probably already said that, but anyway, this is cute. Need to give it a little steam, but man, I love this one. I might keep this one. I always get questions about what, like how I keep everything, like where everything goes. Y'all know I'm not keeping, I don't keep all of this stuff. I do keep a lot of it and a lot of it is gifted to me. Um, however, a lot of it just gets returned. Anyway, um, okay put back on my regular clothes actually I wanted to try on these jeans too let me try on the jeans I'll show them to you okay how cute are we for fall y'all Abercrombie is my new favorite I had never shopped there before um like previous to this year probably I just never shopped there um okay these jeans are fantastic I might could have gone down another size um this is the mom jean in the curve love in high rise and i'm in a size 26 i usually wear 27 um but the lighter the denim the more stretch it has so i want to size down and they're honestly perfect this little top is so cute this one is available they make it in a ton of colors and it's just so flattering like it never looks flattering on the hanger but it is so flattering and i'm kind of loving the chocolate brown I might have to keep this one too. This is really cute. Um, precious. Okay, I really like these jeans. Again, I know this is not a great mirror setup, but they're just like not super tight, but like not flared, but not skinny. They're cute. Okay, let me change. Okay, I'm back on the couch. I all of a sudden am just like not feeling so good. Like, I just feel like I just have, like, a fever. And it could just be, like, all of our travels and everything catching up to me. Um, and we've been waking up really early these past couple of days. There's something I was going to do. Oh, yeah. Um, and anyway, I'm working. I'm chilling. It always gets to be around 4 o'clock. And I get so hungry. <sighs> But I know I'm just bored, and so I'm continuing to work and continuing to drink water. Usually, I just am thirsty. Like, usually I'm not hungry. I'm just thirsty. But anyway, it's always like the home stretch before Grant comes home. And then we'll go on our walk, and then I'll be able to make dinner. Tonight for dinner, we're having these rosemary steak tips with roasted broccoli. Um, so stay tuned for that. Okay, hi, Grant is back home, and now we're gonna go for our run. Wish me luck, Grant's doing fine. I haven't run since probably quarantine two years ago. <laughs> so getting back into it, but it feels good and it is very hot, but yes, I'll check back in for dinner. 
you guys i'm being very vulnerable right now and showing you my face back from a run in texas heat um i post shower <laughs> my face has always gotten this red um after working out in the heat um but also grant reminded me that i lied i have run since covid i we ran in boston when he did 75 hard i did run with him so i lied i'm sure some of you were like but i remember you going on a run in boston and you are correct i am mistaken i do apologize um nonetheless it has been a hot minute and it always takes me a while to get back in the groove of things um I, the, the cramps are terrible my shoulder has issues it it is tough so we are working up and finding a, root, a little route that we like so we're getting there but um, i'm about to make dinner this is what we're having we're doing roasted broccoli and these balsamic rosemary beef steak tips